Hello and welcome back. So we're building out the, the 15 puzzle application. What we're going to work on this time is the 15 puzzle view. Now, there's an architecture uh, that, that, that small talk was probably the first to use, pioneering and using, it was something called the model view controller. So you have a model which represents the state, the view which which graphically presents that state, and a controller which handles handles any mouse and keyboard input. Classic model view controller. Well, we're going to do something that basically uses model view controller. Now we've got a, 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 a model and we've got a view. What we'll also handle, sometimes in modern architectures, that's kind of uh, compressed. The, the, the controller can be compressed, but we'll talk about that later. So for a view, our 15 puzzle view is a subclass of view. And, and, and the view understands things that, that allow a presentation, a, a visual presentation. So one of the things we're going to do is first create a category here called displaying. And it's right there. I'm going to hit enter. So we have displaying. And there's a, 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 a view by default understands display on. Notice I have this. I'm going to hit tab. And a graphics context. I, I like to abbreviate that with GC. So I have display on. A, a GC stands for graphics context. That's a context on the screen that you can actually write on. So let's say the first thing we want to do here is, well, we want to display our, we want to draw a four by four grid. So I'm going to delegate that to a, another method. So let me actually first, I'll accept this. I have my display on. It says the equivalent. Okay, this does nothing, right? So I'm going to say self display grid on on the GC. Period. Let me do that right there. Display grid on. I'm going to accept that. Now this is red because I don't have this. Let me copy this. I'll go up here and deselect this and go display grid on. It was colon because it is a keyword message. GC, that's what the, the graphics context gets passed in. Now, what do we want to do here? Well, first I need to, I, I want to display a grid. So first I have to understand my, my width and my height. So let me say W for width. And what, what a view understands, I can say self bounds, bounds, width, period. And let me say H gets, you can probably guess, self bounds height. Okay, that'll give me my, my width and my height. And I have a four by four. So I'm going to say the, my matrix size is going to be four because it's four by four. So I'm going to need that somewhere. So what is the size of each cell? Well, I can say the cell width gets, well, what, what is my width? Well, my width is going to be the, the bounds of my view is W. Uh, the number of, of cells I have is matrix size. And, th and then I'm, I might get a, I need that as an integer. So W divided by four, I, I, I might get, you know, 23.5. And I need that rounded or, 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 or let's say truncated. So I can do, a division slash slash is a division and then it rounds it down to the nearest integer. 
So if I had 23.5, that'll give me 23. And I can do for the same for the cell height, let's say. That's going to be H divided by, I start typing in tab, rounded divide one. Okay, so now I'll have a, a width and a height. Some other things, uh, if I want the, the line to be to be thick, I can say to my graphics context, something it understands. How would I know these things? Well, one of the things you can do, let's say I, I want to browse the class variable, the class graphics context. There it is. And I can see all kinds of protocol here as well as inherited protocol. And one of the things I'm going to send, let me see, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to type in L-I-N line width. Okay, so if I, if, I, if I draw a line and I want that line to be thicker, I'm going to type in line width colon, I'm going to say, let's, let's make it nine. So we have a nice thick line. And then let's say we want we want to draw a border. Well, one of the things I can send is display display rectangle display display rectangular. Okay, it tells me. Look right here. Notice right here it says a graphics context understands display rectangular border, a rectangle at a point. Or, actually, this is probably what I want, display rectangular border, a rectangle. So let's do that. Now, what, what re rectangle are we going to use? We're going to use our bounds, which is a re rectangle. So because the view understands bounds, we're going to use that. We're going to say, hey, in my bounds uh, of this view, draw a rectangle with line width 9. So that'll that'll kind of put a nice, nice boundary around that. Maybe a thick boundary. And, and what I did, and, and this came, this came from trial and error. I'm going to change my, my width down to 5. And I'm going to, now, w what if I want a different color? Well, let's start with a GC understands paint colon, and I can say color value black, period. Let me let me save what I have so far and show you what happens. Except, so we're going to want these to be temporary variables because they're only they only exist in this temporarily in this method. Except, so that's going to be temporary, 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 and temporary. And of course, we we could have done this ourselves. And notice, like, if I don't have this, and I come up here and I just type in C, it says, hey, do you mean this? And I do, so I just hit Tab, and it automatically writes that. So we could write this ourselves, but when we accept it, it does that for us. And these are some warnings. It says, hey, you're not using cell width, and you're not using cell height anywhere. Do you want to get rid of this? Well, well, we don't. We will use them, but we're not using them yet. So let's do a little more. Actually, maybe we'll, we'll see what this looks like right here. So we'll just keep that accepted. Let's take a walk back to our app. In the initialized, remember our app, let's look at the definition. Our app has a model, the state of the application, the view which we're working on now, which presents the application, presents the, the visual. So our initialize, back to source, 
we said the 15 puzzle model is a 15 puzzle model new. Well, we also have the instance variable in this 15 puzzle view. And I think you can figure out what that's going to be. 15. Notice this is a, this is a n, an instance variable, lowercase 15 puzzle view. That's the class. And we're going to say 15 puzzle view new. And we accept that. So let's test this out, what we've done so far. Let's come right here and say 15 puzzle app. Now to an application, you open an application by saying open. So let me do the open. And there we go. We've got our 15 puzzle app and we've got our view which has that now 15 puzzle app. What did that look like? Remember the first thing we did, we created this with a 15 puzzle view. There it is. That's a, a view object, a view holder, 15 puzzle view. And in the initialize, we said our 15 puzzle view is a 15 puzzle view, the class new to create an instance of that. And the view said, hey, when you display this, display the grid. And in the grid, we said, hey, display the rectangular border of line width 9 with, with my bounds. Let's finish this up with the rest of our grid. So I changed the line width to 5. The color value we made sure is black. I believe actually black is the default. Now we need to, let's see, we need, our grid is four, one, two, three, four cells. So that'll mean we'll need one, two, three lines, right? So we need to iterate through and matrix size is four, but we need three. So we want to, now this is a keyword message to do. Okay. One, two, one to stop. Well, stop is going to be matrix size tab minus one. Okay, that'll be the three. I'm going to notice it tells me this, and this is a block. Okay, a block is something we haven't discussed yet. A block is code that you can, uh, a block is like a method but you can define it anywhere. You can define it in a method. It's a type of closure. But what this, let me show you what this will look like here. The first thing this will do is in, in this, it will send a variable. And I'm going to say that's I, because I'm going to iterate just like a, a regular standard iteration where you go uh, one, one to 10. And here we're going to do one to three I. So that's my block variable. And then the syntax is a vertical bar and then the code for this. So the code here, let's, let's drop down. My code is going to say, let's see my, my X. Let's say X gets cell width times I, I. And then I'm going to say to my graphics context, let, let, let's put this in and then we'll, we'll figure out what it does. Display, display. L, I want to display a line, display a line from point to point. Okay. So I'm going to display a line from a start point to an end point. Well, X is my, is my cell width. Okay. Times I. So I'm iterating through. So I is going to be one. 
the first time is going to go one, two, three. So I want to do my start point is going to be x, x at zero, two, x at height. So this should display my vertical, my vertical bars. Let me bring this in here, put a period after the block. Okay, now notice X. I could define X up here, but that wouldn't be proper. Actually, X is local to this block. So I'm going to type a vertical bar, which gives me two, and type in X. Now, X is a, 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 a temporary variable to this block. Let's accept this. Let's close that. Let's open this. There we go. Okay, we have part of our grid right there. And I am going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to put in here one, two, matrix size. So one to three, do. Now this is going to be my Y. So here we have X, X which goes here, here, here. Now we're going to have Y which goes here, here, here to draw those lines. So we say y is the cell height. Here's our height. Minus uh, times i, 1 through 3. So it'll go times 1, times 2, times 3. And then we're going to display it xy. x is 0, so x will be 0 here. 2 to y, which will be the the distance down from here to the width of this at y, which is the distance down. Let me accept this, close this, and open it again. And there's our grid. Our 4x4 four four grid in our display on right here. So that's what we've done. We made sure our puzzle app has a puzzle view new. Our puzzle view new, it's a type of view. It understands display on and passes in a graphics context. We said display the grid on this. And here's our grid. Matrix size four. Each that means we'll display three vertical lines, three horizontal lines, which we did right here. Okay, until next time, Enjoy working with this 15 puzzle. Back soon.